Hello creative video editors, today I will show you how to replace TV screen with video using Adobe Premiere Pro like this. To begin, I just added this video to my timeline and I would like to replace the TV screen with my video. To do that, let's start by dragging the TV replacement video clip under the track above your main video. And I'll just set my top video's duration so that it matches my bottom video. Now double click your top video in the preview to select it and use the handles to resize it so that it's smaller than the TV. Then move it so it's positioned inside the TV for the next steps. It will help if you zoom into your preview to see the TV clearly. Use a preview slider to reposition my zoom to the TV. Next, go over to the effects panel, type corner pin into the search box. Drag the effect onto your top video clip. Now make sure your full clip is selected on the timeline and go over to the effect controls in here. Select the corner pane effect you just added so that you can see these points on the corners of your video. So each one matches its corner of the TV. I'm not going to worry about getting mine perfect. You get the idea. Once you're done, zoom back out by selecting fit. That works fine for still shots. But what if your TV moves in the frame? For this, it's best to use footage with a green screen TV to save time. I already have my timeline set up since it's the same as last time. Put the replacement footage on the top and video with the actual TV on the bottom. In the preview, position your footage over the top of the TV, but this time make it more extensive than the TV so it stays inside of it. Easier when the camera moves. Once you have it all set up like this, move the bottom clip on your timeline above your top clip like this. Now let's go over to the effects panel, type ultra key into the search box and drag the effect onto your top clip, which should now be the clip with your green screen TV. Next, make sure your top clip is selected on the timeline and then go over to alter key and effect controls here. Click the dropper tool and select the green screen in your video. Alright, and there is my clip. It looks good for the first second since I made my video bigger than the TV. But eventually, the camera moves too much and my footage ends up off screen. To fix this, first let's move the playhead right before my clip goes off screen. Then make sure you select the bottom clip on the timeline and go up to effect controls, click the stopwatch next to the position to create certain keyframes. Then move the playhead to the end of your clip. Then adjust the position's X and Y values so that your footage goes back inside the TV. Alright, now when I play this back, it works perfectly. Nice. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. See you guys next time.